Here's the free version of Visual SP for Teams. In the beginning, you'll see that once you install it on the left side right here, appears here. And if, it does, if you don't see it there, click on the ellipses, you'll see it in there. And then you can right click on uh, the icon for Visual SP, click on pin, and then we'll remain here, okay? So in here, you'll find a bunch of content that's open. For example, create a plan with planner. Let me click on that. You'll see there's content right there, quick short videos, approximately two minutes or less, uh, which you can pop out as well and do work side by side. And then some additional content underneath it of how you can try that particular thing that they're talking about in the video. Okay, let me click on something like this. For example, this shows a web page. So if I click on it, this also actually has a video plus more information here. And let's click on one more over here, large gallery view. Okay, so in this one, this is a quick tip sheet as to why you would see large gallery view in Teams or why you would not see it. Good explanation for that, a quick tip sheet. Once again, it could be printed out, it could be popped out, so you have it side by side. Now, in addition to the team scope and the content that's available within Teams, which will change over time because we're adding content all the time, there's also content, if you click on the drop down here, lots of additional content on everything from Excel to Word to SharePoint, you know, Delve, Power BI, lots of different things. Let me click on, for example, Word Online. Here we go, a lot of content open over here for free. Keyboard shortcuts. Okay, you can obviously do searches for all these things as well. So let me do a search for table. Here's all the information about table or tables within Word. You can also go and search all applications. I won't do that right now, but if you do that and do a search, you'll get a lot more content. Now, in addition to this being here, you could take Visual SP, which is installed as an app within Teams, and you could put it into any of your channels if you wanted to. So it would look like that when you go to channel, click on plus, add Visual SP, which should appear here. Here we go. Once you do that, here's what it looks like. You'll have the same content available directly here as well. Here it is. Same thing that I was showing before in the left rail for Teams. Okay. Now, of course, you can explore other things out as well as to what they are. But let me actually move on to show you the premium version of Teams as well. So here's the premium version. The same look and feel, the same experience, but now as you can see, all the content is open because this is the premium paid version of it. Okay, all the content is open here, hundreds of pieces of content. Here it is. Uh, sorry, it's taking a little bit longer than usual over here. Here it is. And go to Guide for Team Owners. There we go, much quicker. A lot of content available in the premium version. Same thing, all other content that I was showing is available here too, but there's nothing locked. So anywhere you go, for example, Excel Online, you're going to see everything that's open. That is uh, hundreds and hundreds of items. Uh, if I did all applications here, I believe it's more than 1,400 or something close to that. Let's see what the current count is because we are changing it all the time. There's a lot of content being added. Current is 1,477. So a lot of content available in the premium version of Teams. Enjoy. Let us know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.